In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Because of the length of the beautiful passion that will be read this morning, there will be no homily. And as we begin this Holy Week, let us once again ask our loving and gracious Creator to continue to be patient with us. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners to redemption. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father for our salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us all, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who is an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection. He who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a tongue, a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like a flint, knowing that I must yet be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My God, my God. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was the form of God, did not regard equality with God, something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming 
in human likeness and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus stood before the governor, Pontius Pilate, who questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. And when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they are testifying against you? But he did not answer him one word so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast, the governor was accustomed to release to the crowd one prisoner whom they wished. And at that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had assembled, Pilate said to them, which one do you want me to release to you, Barabbas or Jesus called Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had handed him over. While he was still seated on the bench, his wife sent him a message. Have nothing to do with that righteous man. I suffered much in a dream today because of him. The chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask Barabbas, but to destroy Jesus. The governor said to them in reply, which of the two do you want me to release to you? They answered, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what should I do with Jesus called Christ? They all said, let him be crucified. But he said, why, what evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he was not succeeding at all, but that a riot was breaking out instead, he took water and washed his hands in the sight of the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Look to it yourselves. And the whole people said in reply, His blood be upon us and upon our children. Then he released Barabbas to them. But after he had Jesus scourged, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him of his clothes and threw a scarlet military cloak about him. Weaving a crown out of thorns, they placed it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat upon him and took the reed and kept striking him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led off to crucify him. As they were going out, they met a Cyrenian named Simon. This man they pressed into service to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, 
which means place of the skull. They gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he had tasted it, he refused to drink. After they had crucified him, they divided his garments by casting lots, and they sat down and kept watch over him there. And they placed over his head the written charge against him, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and the other on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, You who had destroyed the temple and rebuilt it in three days, save yourself if you are the Son of God, and come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests with the scribes and the elders mocked him and said, He saved others, he cannot save himself. So he is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the son of God. The revolutionaries who were crucified with him kept abusing him in the same way. From noon onward, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lemma sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, the one he is calling for is Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran to get a sponge. He soaked it in wine and putting it on a reed, gave it to him to drink. But the rest said, wait, let us see if Elijah comes to save him. But Jesus cried out again in a loud voice and gave up his spirit. And behold, the veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth quaked, rocks were split, Tombs were opened, and the bodies of many saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming forth from their tombs after his resurrection, they entered the holy city and appeared to many. The centurion and the men with him, who were keeping watch over Jesus, feared greatly when they saw the earthquake and all that was happening. And they said, truly, this was the Son of God, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved and gracious God, we listen to your words this morning, and we now we politely ask you to listen to our requests. That all members of the church remain faithful to following Jesus, no matter what the cost, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all the people of the world may come to salvation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that each of us may faithfully follow Jesus to the cross and so come to new life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who bear the cross of illness and suffering be delivered, and for all who have died and for those who mourn for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you for listening to our so gracious God. You so often call us your little children in the scriptures. And so, like little children, we politely ask you to grant us an answer to all our requests, which we make in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With our mouth, spirit, and contrite hearts, may we all be accepted by you, O gracious God. My brothers and sisters, let us pray that our sacrifice today may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Through the passion of our only begotten Son, O gracious God, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that though we do not merit it by our own deeds, Yet, by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to our loving God. It is truly right, it is truly just, it is truly our duty and our salvation always everywhere to joyfully give you thanks, O gracious, eternal God. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death was washed away our sins and his resurrection has purchased us justification. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O gracious God. You are the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord and brother, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and his resurrection, we offer you, O gracious God, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, 
And remember your church, the people of God spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all people called to ministry. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the realization of rising again, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to your home. We pray for ourselves, have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, almighty God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the way Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace today, that by your help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of you. Lord Jesus Christ, you once said to your apostles, peace I have you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Tom, peace be with you. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Nourish with these sacred gifts, O gracious God, we humbly pray that as though through the death of your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you call us, through Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God share his blessings upon you and your families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. 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 Am